Hey guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna discuss about orchid roots a little bit. So for four years or whenever I started growing orchids actually, I've only been using tap water. Because my tap water is actually medium hard, it's not really that hard. I used it with my aquarium as well, with my aquarium plants anyway. It's an okay water. It's not the softest, but definitely it is not hard water. I don't have problems with my appliances and so on. Um, I tested it a lot of times. We're good. However, there are certain orchids which just appear to be more sensitive to the minerals in the water. Either the minerals, either the chlorine. I'm guessing it's the minerals. Now, not all of them. I think, I don't know, 1% of my orchids are having trouble with my water and mainly cattleyas. This is the one that is most affected. And I'll show you. Please excuse the roots that actually died because of the water. Anyway, let's take a look at these roots. Do you see the browning, the staining on the roots? Yeah, this happened when this orchid was potted as well. It always happened. It always got the stains on the roots. And actually what I'm trying to do is just leave a little bit of water, not soak it anymore, or spray it with distilled water. And stuff are starting to pick up, actually. So there is something with my tap water. So this is the most severe case. In lighter cases, though, I don't have too many issues. You can see here just a little bit of staining right here. A little bit of staining right there but it's nothing really major and really not all cattleyas are doing this and i cannot even say that it's a problem with species because they're more fancy or something no this is a hybrid i'll show you a species in a second here is the Calia mosier oh i dread on potting this but anyway she has a very good root system there's no real staining on these roots and here's the Calia leopoldi. She's wet, but again, you can see there's no real staining on the roots. Nothing like what I just showed you on the CG Robling. So these are both species. It's not a question of species being more fragile than hybrids. And I was actually having a discussion with one of my viewers in the past about some cattleyas which do seem to react like this. So I'm guessing it's the minerals inside my water or the chlorine or something that she does not like. This orchid is the CG Robling. I got it from Rachel in Ireland. And actually she received rainwater, so she was always acquainted to very low mineral water. However, Rachel uses the rain mix as a fertilizer. So it's not about any mineral at all, it's just about an excessive quantity of mineral. Now this excessive quantity really depends on each individual or each hybrid. I don't know, do you guys have a CG Robling which is watered with tap water that does not display the symptoms? Let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious. I'm not sure if it's something with particular individuals or it's something with the whole hybrid of the sorts. In any case, as I was saying, 99% of my collection is totally fine with tap water. But I did have a viewer which told me that their catacetum has something similar when they sprayed it with water. It has nothing to do that you sprayed with water the new roots it has to do with the type of water you actually sprayed with maybe it's a little bit hard in any case if you do have these things on your orchid let me know in the comments below and let me know what type of water you use or what type of medium you use because I got something very similar when I was using coconut husk or orchid focus media and coconut husk if it's not treated well it's full of salts and I dread that potting media when I have so many alternatives I will never recommend coconut husk really because there's a lot of bad brands apparently out there particularly in Europe I'm not sure about the rest of the world but I do have a lot of viewers which are really not happy with the coconut husk we have here due to the salt content and the tannin content so okay this is what I wanted to show you if you see this on your orchid I presume it's the water and even though it's tap water and works well with all of your orchids or most of your orchids some individuals might have some issues because of that and I'll actually switch to osmosis water pretty soon in my greenhouse because it's just one of those investments that I think is worth making I cannot collect rainwater it barely rains in Cyprus but I can definitely use osmosis water and also I'll use the rain mix because people have good experience with it Alrighty, thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos from me and stay up to date with my orchids and the moves, simply subscribe to my channel I post on a regular basis. Also, feel free to leave me comments, suggestions for videos or questions you might have in the comment section below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thanks for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!